To transfer a WordPress website from one server to another server, you can use the all-in-one plugin. And so once you install the plugin, you can click on export. Let's say export to a file. And this will generate a file for you. Once you once this is completed, you download that file. Then you'll go to your, your server, your cPanel, and you'll go to your WordPress manager. And you'll say, install a fresh version of WordPress on the server. So I've already installed fresh copy of the, on the server. So you'll log into the server onto your WordPress. Okay, so once you're on your WordPress, you'll see that you've got a PHP uh, update recommended. So what you could do is go to your control panel and then go to uh, PHP. And by default, this is 5.6. So we normally set it to 7.4. Set as current. And if I press Control F5 on this site, the PHP error disappears. So then what you'll need to do on the new site, you need to add a new plugin. And the one we're looking for is all in one. And we'll install this plugin. We'll activate the plugin. Okay, so straight away you see on the left hand side it says export import. So we're going to import a file. So the file that we import in is the file that we just downloaded from our old site. So we'll import from file and it'll be under downloads. And here you'll see that your the maximum upload file is exceeded, which is two megs. So you go to go to your back to your control panel and go to your PHP INI editor. and you can increase the, the size. And if we press Control F5 now, it should give us a bigger size. Okay, so it gives us one gig. Click File Upload, and we upload the file. So what you need to remember is that uh, the free version of All-in-One will give you up to 512 megabytes. And then if you want larger files to, uh, files to upload, if your size is huge, you'll obviously need to get a premium version. Okay, then it'll prompt you with a message to say proceed. And this will now extract your entire site onto the new server. Okay, and the new site has been uploaded. So what you'll obviously need to do, if you click on view site, you'll view your site. But if you click on all pages, you'll notice that it takes you, it kicks you out of the username out, wants you to log in back into the site. The reason for this is because the w username and password that you had on your old server, that's the password that is now uh, needs to be used for your new server. So if we go back and log in, and then check our pages, and you'll see that all our pages are listed.